glad y'all didn't hear that big squeal that just happened. I forgot to turn down the speakers before I turned on the microphone and they said, Burr. Uh, oh, oh, audio check. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Okay. So let's see here. Who all's in here? Who was all in here? Who, who be kicking in here today? Let's see. We've got a few people. Let me get this screen over here. Come here, screen. Come here. Hey, you get off that monitor. Go on this monitor. Get over here. Get over here. Sorry. Hi. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Joyster. How are you? Welcome to the room. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, everybody. Everybody. Good morning. Hey, whoever's here. Whoever's here, good morning. So we had a, quite a few people jump in and jump right back out. They were like, hi, and left. That's okay. We don't mind. So good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing, uh, whatever today is, the eighth day of harvest. Uh, free day. It's a free day. I hope you're having a great free day. Uh, yeah, I got my coffee. Uh, sub Abaddon, I don't get to hear your morning shows no more because I'm already at work. Oh, that sucks. Uh, you can always go back and check them out later, though, and uh, get your morning dose of awesome um, later on. Uh, let's see here. Who else is on here? Yeah, I slept in today. Oh, I slept in today. No work Friday. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Well, you can catch me on Fridays then. Uh, good morning, Joyster. Trixie, good morning. You need coffee? I just brewed a, few, brewed a fresh pot. It's in the kitchen. And there's also food in there. I made food this morning. I made some eggs with fresh bell pepper, onion, and some ham, and some little bit of spices, a bit of spices up in there. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. Go on in there, get you some food, and get you some coffee. Come back in, sit down, we'll have some fun. Sound fun? Sound good? Good morning, Morg. Good morning. Good morning, Caroline. Jennifer, how you doing? Uh, let's see here. I got to pull up my stuff. Uh... boom boom thank you google thank you thank you google how are you how's dog she's doing good she's uh laying right here being uh being all doggy and stuff uh let's see here so uh i had fun this morning i watched a couple live feeds from a couple other people and eased into my morning with a little bit of coffee You like it when I sleep in because you can catch me live. Yeah, I might. I'm, see, the thing is, is I normally get off of work around 7 a.m. That's why I started doing the live feeds at 7 a.m. So when I, when I get off work, I can do my live feed, then I go to bed. But here lately, I've been getting off work earlier so I can take a nap and get up and do them by 10. So it'll either be 7 a.m. or 10 a.m. every day. Either way, getting ready to head to Spencer's. Samantha, if you're going to Spencer's to get your shirt, do me a favor, call them first and make sure they have it in, okay? It's a big Chris Arts Cult of Fools Abaddon shirt. And if they don't know what you're talking about, then you, they, they may they should have it there, but at the same match respect, it would probably be best if you just ordered it offline from cultofools.com. Come straight to your house. But if you can't wait, if you gotta have it, then go down there because there's a good chance they will have it because they, they are just, oh, well, you know how it is. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning. Good morning, Courtney. Uh, is 7 a.m. stitches time? Uh, no, nah, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, he just goes live whenever he wants to go live. Does the stitches even have a time? No, yeah, he don't. No, he just goes live whenever he wants to. He just he just durs. He's live this morning. He's uh, on the way. I just got out of his room. Uh, he's going to Hell Billy Hollow for the last haunted house of the year. The only haunted house that's open. They're going down and doing a show tonight in Alatucky. Uh. Uh, Alabama and uh, yeah so that's fun he was in a in an oh so great stitches mood this morning <laughs> he said I'm not your boyfriend I'm not your friend if you want to have something happy go talk to Abaddon <laughs> I'm like hell yeah come on talk to me mm -hmm, I got you I got you uh, yeah definitely call first if you're going to Spencer's call first and make sure they have them so uh, Joyce to your manager the manager of your store is all screwed up They're supposed to all have them So if your manager if your store does not have them then it's on the manager for not ordering them or paying attention to the company rollout because 
see how it is is Spencer's is like most national stores when it's rolled out in one store it's rolled out in all stores because they have a load diagram that they have to uh, follow on the walls where everything's supposed to be positioned and set and how many and so on and so forth it's a national thing it's national standard and so if they don't have them then it's on your store's manager being a goofball call corporate and tell them good morning mark uh, Mark's, I'm, I, I still, I've got to the number three. I haven't read the past three yet. I just haven't had time, but Mark's got his book out. I was telling everybody about it the other day. You definitely should go get it. Um, it, it on Amazon. I ordered it. I think I was his first order. I freaking love it. It's amazing. Good job, Mark, on being a published author. That's awesome. Congratulations, sir. Uh, and it's a good book. Good stories in it. Oh, I missed what Jennifer said. Almost it. What did, what did Jennifer say? It's almost 10 a.m. here. It is 9.37 here. Guthrie's open this weekend, too? There last weekend? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think Stitches knew that either because he was saying that was the last one open. I was just following what he was saying. Uh, Michael, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Heather, good morning, Heather. How are you? I hope you're feeling a little bit better today. Omaha never got them. Yeah, it's on your stores. It's on the Spencer's stores. Uh, if the if the store does not have the Daggum Colts Bull shirts, then it falls on that that Daggum that, that Daggum manager. The good news is is you can always get them from Coltafools.com. Uh, are you ready to be on camera? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. So. Face cam. Boom. Look who's at my house again. I'm going to tell y'all something. She showed up yesterday. This time, she brought me food. She brought me a damn Pop Tart. That's why I didn't eat it last night because I had to have it for proof that you brought me food this time. So this time, she brought me food. And, yep. So, bam. Barbie's up in the house. She stopped by. Now I'm waiting for Heather to come down. That's that's my goal. I want to get Heather down here. Think I can get Heather down here? If Heather comes down, we're probably going to miss some live feeds because we're going to have some extracurricular activities. We're probably we, yeah, we're probably going to be like dancing in the street and stuff and making fun of people. It's probably going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, Chris, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Billy. So what you doing? Say hi, to everyone. Come on, say hi. Oh God, not in my lap. Not in my. Oh, okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Kissing my neck. I know. They're over there though. Okay, get out. Okay, that's too much. You're not getting my lap. All right. So Doge, say good morning too. Piss off. Go away. Good morning, Cherry. Cherry to the snot. Good morning, Belinda. Good morning, Emily. Uh, we have a haunt in Dallas. That's cool. Yep. Barbara, Barbara is sitting here. She showed up yesterday with a pop tart. And you know damn well, I've, I've said it before. If you show up to my house with food, I'm gonna let you in. So no shave November. Look at this, guys. It's coming in. It's 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 very light right now, but it is coming in. I am not shaving my beard until the next uh, shoot. So, no, we don't want your toys. I, I gave you love, and I don't want your toys. She just walked in with her toy, and she just when I said that, she looked at me like I broke her heart. <laughs> Hell yeah, Mark, come on surprise visit me. The rules are, if you show up to my house, you show up to the studio, you bring food. I don't care who comes, just bring food. That's the only thing. Eric, yours. So yeah, now I gotta get I gotta get Heather down here. Heather's my next, my next, uh, I gotta get Heather down here. But Barbie comes in and out. Barbie's now been here, what, twice? Twice, yeah, Barbie, Barbie is now like, like I should just give her a key. She just comes in and out. She's got her own room and everything. <laughs> she does she stay, she sleeps in the dog's room i actually let her sleep on the, i let her sit on the couch too the other time uh mark give out your book information good morning wyland can can i can i some dog sit i'll bring you food and her trip yeah cal can you come dog sit can i said some i was like can i some dog sit i'm like what the hell what kind of english is that samantha hell yeah you can dog sit you bring some food that's all i'm saying I, look i will let any of y'all in my i don't care i'll let you i'll let you all in my house at the same time y'all bring food we'll have a potluck dinner i'm just saying uh mark's book is a collection of 13 short horror writings 
It is on Amazon. Just type in Mark Hardtop Smith and uh, under books, and it should pop up. It's pretty awesome. I'm close. Tell me where, and I'm there. Jennifer, message me later. I'll give you my damn address. I don't give a shit. Come on. I'll be at the studio all day tomorrow. No. I won't be. Tomorrow's Saturday, right? Yep. No, I won't be. I'll be off tomorrow. I have no idea where I'll be, where I'll be tomorrow. We can all meet up at the beach. We can meet up at the beach. We can meet up at Shaggy's. That sounded like rap. I said that so fast. We can meet up. I can't do it again. We can meet up at Shaggy's. We can meet up. At Sha yeah, damn. That was that was. I was almost a rapper for a second. I, I'm gonna drop my new mixtape. It's gonna be fire. I'm just kidding. You're on a way to get some more hair color. Dyed it black. Dyed it blue black and noticed my ends didn't pull, and the green. And, and are a green and are a green tint. Yeah. Why is reading these messages like deciphering hieroglyphics sometimes? Cherry. <laughs> Why? There you go. It's linked up here. I'll pin the comment. Good morning, Jeffy. You just want wings? Baby girl, listen. Listen, Heather, you come down here. If you come down here, Heather, okay? Baby girl, listen. If you come down here, I will buy you some wings. I will have you some wings, okay? I will order... I will or we look we can go to Buffalo Wild Wings. We can get it from uh, and go out and eat it or and bring home some or or we or I can just order them from Papa John's or I can make them my damn self. I'm just saying. You get the wings. Terry don't do green hair. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Your last name is Snot. You should do this part green. Like you know what I'm saying? So you should have like the right or wrong, right? She should have this part green because Cherry Snot. Right? Yep. It should be red everywhere except for right in the front. It should be green right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, Starbucks. He's down for it. Well, come on. Come on, all you down here. Shit, yeah. I was the first to receive a copy of my book. I'm the author, and I'm still waiting. Oh, look, here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can confirm this. Because it is sitting right on my desk because I started reading it. Bam. Right here. I got it. Right here. And I've been starting to read it. I went through three, and I really enjoyed it. He sent me some other of his writings before. I really like it. So it's sitting right next to my desk because, but I've just been so busy that I'm only I'm on check. I'm on like the fourth one. So I've got to uh, I got to fix fit, pick it up and finish it up. But it's some really cool stories. It really think you think Good little horror stories. All right, so bam, got his book. You go get his book. The only person you should be ma making wings for is me. Oh, Jeffy. Should I make wings, Jeffy, some wings? Yes. Make him some wings. Some, I make him some blood wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh Lord! Oh Lord! Nah, freaking! I make you all wings. You know I love you, Jeffy. Let's see. Abaddon face reveal is not too much different in his human and demon look. I know that. Yeah, yeah. My face reveal was the other day. Um, wait, you, Cherry, you've seen me like for the last year. Come on now. <laughs> Cherry, I've been on video calls with Cherry for like over a year now, and she's like talking about my face reveal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's not much different. I have a different brow, a different nose, uh, chin. Let's see, brow, chin, no horns. But I have horns here. Here, look. Does that make you feel better? Wait, hold on. I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mine is blue black now. Did have midnight underneath it, but uh, emerald green once was beautiful. I loved it. Oh, I bet that lid looked nice. Didn't look nice. My hair was brown once, like my entire life. And I, mean, I did do highlights once when I was in the eighties. Yeah, I did. I know I did that on purpose. Uh, in eight in the eighties, I had highlights. I had a mo. I had my mohawk, and I highlighted my mohawk because you know it was the eighties, and that's what you did. You wore parachute pants, and you had highlighted hair. Pants? Parachute pants. You don't remember oh, parachute, parachute pants? I thought you said sheep pants. Sheep pants. Yeah, sheep pants. Do you don't remember parachute pants? Like yeah, 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 yeah. I had the whole parachute yeah, outfits and the the yeah. highlight. Yeah, yeah. I like big butts. I cannot lie. You other girl. Oh yeah, you know the whole eighties. Oh, whatever. What? <laughs> whatever. Ah, uh, it's kind of funny. Um. Uh, what was you know the whole you know the whole unicorn thing, right? That's uh from from Scurvy, one of Scurvy's videos. They take the can of unicorn. <laughs> I'm like dying. Oh. 
E. Seeley is totally funny. Totally funny. Okay, so it is 9.47. We started at 9.30, so we are about coming up to the moment where we start talking about some positive mm -hmm. shite. And then we move on to the next shite. And then we uh, talk about the poop. Uh, on a serious note, 95% um, of y'all are invited to come visit me at any point in time. Just let me know and I will and I will definitely put you in the green chair next to me. Absolutely. I love getting visitors. I love getting surprise visitors. Come out, hang out, have a cup of coffee with me. And uh, and we'll talk. 100%. All right. So let's uh, let's get on with the, with the... Let's get on with the show. You. Better stop it. Go on. Don't look at me like I owe you child support. I paid you up, doggy. All right. What did we talk about yesterday? Where are we at, class? <laughs> Where are we at? 947 there in Dallas. Nice. Uh, you got a question about the shirts? Go ahead and shoot, shoot the question. 95%. Joyster's the 5%. <laughs> All right, why is this so small? Look at the Oh, it's because I got this pen. Okay, I'm going to unpin your thing for a second. I'll put your book back up in a little bit. All right, let's see here. Where were we at, class? Somebody talk to me here. Where were we at yesterday? That's right, just bring food. Food is the key to my door. Well, you do drink coffee with me every morning. That's absolutely true. Think of that. I think I'll have a sip. Good morning, April. Uh, Sounds like my music drank some coffee. Can you hear that on there? No, you can't hear it, can you? It's like... It sounds like... It's a little too excited for me. I'm going to we're gonna have to... We're going to have to go somewhere else with that music for a second. Hold on, two secs don't start. Okay. You're going to record it? Am I going to be recorded? You're being recorded for... Supernatural presences. Warm <laughs> duck. <laughs> okay. I have no. I've been here in a week. Oh Lord, Scarlett, you've been here in a week. Oh man. Talked about the changing every year. That's right. That's right. Thank you for refreshing me. Okay. So yesterday we talked about. Uh, he um, Heather was the uh, positive person for the week because she had posted out about the. Uh, um, everything changes. Trees change. You look at the trees, they lose their leaves every year. They lose, lose everything every year, and then they grow to be more strong every spring, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You are officially over 60. Congratulations. That's right. No, no. Food is the key. You take food and you put it to my door. My door goes <laughs> and automatically opens for you. It's got a, it's got a sniffer key. Okay. So, yes, we're already doing voice. Got you this morning. I'm on the computer, not on the tie tablet. Okay. So, uh, we talked about the other day. We talked about I'm in charge of how I am or how I feel, and today I'm choosing happiness. We told we talked about that the other day. Um, be selective in your battles. We talked about that. Uh, that that one's wrong. I don't believe in this one. This one says push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. That's not true. I've pushed a lot of people in my life. I pushed them off cliffs, pushed them in cars, <laughs> pushed them down, pushed them off the road. Pushed them off the road. Yeah, I pushed a lot of people. So that one's not true. I want to be the positive person of the week, Scarlett. Okay, well, send me. What you have to do to become the person positive person of the week is send me your personalized uh, positive quote. Like you go online, you find something that's really positive and you really like it. It really speaks to you. Send that to me. Oh, check that out. Okay, so here it is. He says that if you purchase this book and screenshot and proof that you follow me and Amazon pays out, he'll send me a dollar with each name with each name you credit it, and I'll put it on the website. I'll do that. So if you buy his book and you do all of what he just said, put that on your page. Like make that mark, take that and put that on your page and pin it. And then if they do that, then I'll put it on the website with has your book, blah, 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 blah. Um, I did not see your positive post. Cherry, you didn't send it to me. You have to send it to me. Or did you send it to me? I don't know if you sent it damn it to me or not. I got a little look. I'm, I'm following behind today. I'm trying to scroll right now. I didn't see it, Cherry. Um, I'll go look right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna my messenger right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here. Cherry, 
Cherry, cherry, cherry, which is under the favor. No. Uh, the last thing I had is you were going to get me, uh, you were going to file paperwork to get me evicted from my bush that I live in. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, pick of the day. I got your pick of the day. That's the last thing I got. No, you don't look at my page. I don't, you know, I'm an admin on your page and I never look at your page. And I apologize for that, but I'm always busy. You have to send it to me. All right, so if you want to be the positive person of the week, you have to send it to me. Cherry, send it to me, okay? You send it to me, and then I'll see it, and then I'll, I, will, I will decide who's going to be the most positive person of the week, okay? Now that we understand that, okay. Uh, I've, I've read most of these. Um, this would be a good one because it's really easy. I've done that one. I've done this one. I've done that one. What am I missing? The store messed up, Dan. Uh, Deathbone, good morning. I got your message the other day on uh, whatever platform it was on. I think it was Instagram, I think. Um, and with your video, I totally plan on doing some stuff with you. I just haven't been in face since then. But uh, hell yeah, awesome TikTok, bro. Good morning, Leanne. What? What? Up? Oh. Oh Lord. Uh, let's see. Uh, don't quit. That, that's an easy one. Enjoy the little things. Positive. And uh, we don't like something. Change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. We talked about that the other day. I'm not finding something we haven't already talked about. How about that? Oh look, there's Big Chris Hearts. Hey, Big Chris Hearts. Gotta go into work and get your butt into work. Oh, hey, you know what? That's pretty good, Jeffy. Oh, Jeffy's gonna be the positive person for today. Jeffy's the first person to message me this morning with something positive. So Jeffy is gonna be the person today. He's gonna be the positive person of the day is Jeffy Adams. Everybody throw some hearts up. You throw some hearts up for Jeffy and I will tell you what he just sent. He just sent his personal quote and I like it. I like it a lot. Cherry, you didn't message me, so you just ran out. You just you didn't you didn't get it today. <laughs> Better luck tomorrow. There's some hearts right there. Look at that right there, Jeffy. The people love you, and they're gonna love this quote too. Positive quote from Jeffy. This is something that is his personal quote. If you don't like your story, rewrite that shit. I like it. I like it. If you don't like your story, rewrite that shit. Absolutely. If you don't like where you are in life then it's up to you to make the changes. It's up to you to get up and do it. You know, we talked yesterday about how society has made men feel like we cannot show emotions and we bottle that shit in and we, and we, you know, all that crap, you know what I mean? And everything. And I've been stre stressing out and telling people, look, it's okay to have emotions and you need those emotions in order to get yourself mentally prepared to do the changes. You know what I mean? If you don't like how you are, if you don't like what's going on in your life, get angry and you're angry about, you get angry enough, you'll change. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't like your story, get angry, rewrite that shit. Just do it. It's up to you to be the best person you can be every day. It's up to you. I like that, Jeffy. Jeffy wins for the day. Jeffy, you are the most positive person of the day. Boom. If you don't feel clean, wipe again. <laughs> Use the baby wipe. I want to find a positive quote on with cake. Cher Cherry Snot sent me a, a picture of her of her page, a link to her page. She's like, here, go look at it yourself. <laughs> She's like, all right, let's see. Let me see. I think she linked it to me. Let me see. Let me go see what it says. Do do do. It's loading. Uh, please don't inbox me about other people's page telling me they are bullies or oh the that's that that was your positive thing oh I know that I I, I helped you with that I blocked that dude for you oh you sent <laughs> it for you oh yeah no that that uh that happened yesterday if yeah if you if you don't like somebody all right so this is what happened Cherry and I were in a feed from another entertainer we were watching a feed from another entertainer. And I left out, and I'm an admin on Cherry's page, and her, her page started blowing up. Like, somebody started sending her a bunch of messages. 
And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Uh, I was on the phone with colleagues before the feed. Uh, Jeffy, we'll talk to you. I'll talk to you in a second on it. Uh, just remind me to go back to Jeffy. Let me know the chair. Okay. Thank you. So um, we were in the live feed and somebody started blowing up Cherry's page with in the inbox on how this person is a, a bad person and, da -da 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 and blah, 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 and yada, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And I was like, who in the hell? Cherry had already left. She'd already went, I guess went to bed or whatever. And so I messed her. I was like, who is this guy in your inbox? You know what I mean? Like, what the hell's going on? And uh, it was just some hater, you know, some hater hating on the front. Because he saw us in that live feed, he went around and messaged everybody that he could in the live feed, apparently, and uh, and was ha spreading hate. You know what I mean? So Cherry put up a big post about how she will not tolerate bullies, but she's got to be able to see this shit. If, if it happens, that she'll block people. And uh, I totally, totally agree with that. Um, if... If you message me, if, if I'm in somebody's feed and you don't like that person that I'm watching and you message me and you tell me, you know, blah, 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 I'm going to block your ass, probably. Like, for example, there are people in there, out there out there that I do not like. I do not like them at all. But have you ever heard me say you can't like somebody? Have, have you heard me ever tell anybody else, don't follow this person or don't like this person? No, I will say if they if they come to me directly and say, hey, why don't you like this person? I will tell them the truth. I will tell them why I don't like the person. But I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, if you like this person, you can't like me. No, I'm not going to do that because that's that to me. That's silly. Now, I'll tell you this. If one of my friends comes to me and says, yo, bro, uh, Mickey Mouse did this shit to me and it was wrong. And here's the proof that this person did this to me. Then I'm not liking that person no more. Uh, my, I'm, my friend is, I'm going to look at my friend and be like, oh, damn, they did that to you? Well, they're not going to do that to me because I'm going to block their ass immediately. You follow what I'm saying? That's the type of person I am. Jason Palmer is in the house. What's up, Jason? Big's the clown. Big old purple. Big old beautiful man. I love that guy. He is doing the best people in this world. Uh, Big, since you just came in, Cherry Snot dropped the ball and did not become the most positive person of the day. Because she didn't inbox me. But Jeffy did. Jeffy Adams is the most positive person of the day. He messaged me with, if you don't like that story, if you don't like your story, rewrite that shit. So Jeffy, I saw your comment where you said that you were on, um, you were on the phone and you're working on changing your, you know, changing your story now. And that's hard to do, man. And I'm going to give you much love and respect on that. Like 100%. I do respect you 100%. Because it is really hard sometimes when you are very complacent in life where you're doing a certain thing for a certain amount of time and you it takes a lot of courage to get up and make the changes. So you have my respect this morning, Jeffy, 100%. If you guys are not following Jeffy Adams, you really need to. He's an amazing actor and I've met him personally. I've sat down and talked with him. Great guy. Uh, and you, you will love his page and you will love this person, 100%. So Jeffy is the person of the day. Hell yeah. Jessica, get your ass back to work. I just saw Jessica come in here. You need to get her, get your, get your butt back to work, girl. Right now, right now, right now. You do it, you do it right now. Okay, so yeah, so everybody go follow him. Biggs the Clown, Jeff, J Jason Palmer, Biggs the Clown. Go follow the Big Purple, because we love Big Purple. He is our major. If y'all would like to be the positive person of the day, then inbox me your positive quote or your positive story. And I will talk about it on the live feed and I will give you props and give you shout outs and tell you how, how awesome you are. Make it happen, Captain. All right, let's get back to this thing. We I still haven't picked a quote for this morning because I've done like every quote that I've read so far up here. Do 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 Smoke your cigarette, smoke your vape. Don't smoke anything at all. I don't care, but get your coffee. And we've got some, we got two good things coming up this morning to talk about. Uh, Cause I found two, I found two of them. They're going to like them. So share this out. You sent me one to my inbox? Hell yeah. 
I know, she looks positively retarded like that. And she's going, I'm a Doberman. All right, so everybody, everybody got this shirt out? We all, are we all up to par now? Ah, okay. Dustin Register is in the house. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, there we go. All right, what you do now? Super retarded. You no, got... I just saw the delay on you. Oh, you might want to take your little ass out of here because she's going to be distracting, and I got a show to do. All right. <laughs> Not you. Her. Out. Go. Oh, mother. Get in your bed. One, the way, one way or the other. Do something. About to get me upset. Okay. All right. Shit happens, Forrest Gump. Shit happens. Uh... Fish them if they can't take a joke. That's right. Okay, so number one. Are y'all ready? Number one. Bad vibes do not go with my outfit. <laughs> right? Think about that for a second. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. Bad vibes don't go with that shit. Keep that negativity somewhere else. We don't need it in our life at all. We don't need it. It's, it's not needed. <clears throat> you surround me with positive energy, and I will be a good person. You put negative energy in my life, and I will just not be a happy person it was not it's not gonna be good anybody that knows me in real life knows that when i get angry the world gets angry it's kind of sad it's kind of bad all right you went to sleep with me on last night Ooh, silly <laughs> mm, keep our secrets okay uh let's see uh that's number one bad vibes don't go with my outfit you guys can quote that because i'm getting it off the internet of course and it's pretty awesome strong positive little quote i like it Okay, so number two, are you ready for this? Good morning, Gotharina. How are you? Okay. Um, this goes out to everyone, not just the ladies. This is everyone. You need to hear this. You really need to hear this. Biggs, you need to hear this. Everybody needs to hear this, okay? You are so used to your features, you don't know how beautiful you look to a stranger. I want you to think about that quote for a second. Really think about that. Good morning, Kenneth. I really, really, really want you to think about that. Bad, bad vibes don't go with my outfit. Don't go. I can't speak English today. It's very hard. All right. Bad vibes don't go with my outfit. And you are so used to your features that you don't know how beautiful you look to a stranger. Not only with that, um, it also goes down to the fact that you are conditioned to believe that you're ugly. A lot of us, 90% of us are conditioned to believe that we're ugly. They've been told, you know, damn, you're fat. Damn, you ugly. Damn, you this. Damn, you that. Damn, you this, you know. And the truth is, is that conditioning is wrong. That conditioning is false. It, conditioning is lie. You've been lied to. You have been in the cult of life. And life is wrong in this retrospect. If I, I, I made, a, I made a, 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 a picture probably two, three years ago now. That said, uh, hold on, I, I think I still have it. I'm going to look for it while, I, while I'm talking. Um, that went right along the lines of this. Let me go to my graphics here. See if I can find it real quick. Uh, which I probably am not going to be able to because I want to find it. You know how it is when you want to find something? You're never able to find it when you want to find something. But uh, it was on the same lines. Wait, uh, it is in this file, I think. It has got to be in here because I just found one of the other ones that I made at the same time. Nope. Damn it. Of course you're not. Of course I'm not gonna be able to find it because I'm looking for it, right? Uh, there's one. Uh, it's posted on my wall somewhere too so I'll find it later and I'll repost it damn it of course of course I can't find it <laughs> but anyway it, it runs on the same ideas that if you could see yourself through my eyes then you would no longer question how beautiful you are um in life we have been we have been been conditioned to believe that we are less than okay and I've seen um I've seen a bunch of, of stuff like, uh, excuse me, I'm ugly as true positive, I'm like a boss. 
You ain't ugly, bro. Um, I've seen the little, what are they, semicolons? I mean, your story's not over yet. They need to have a greater than sign, too. Although people wouldn't understand what the fuck it meant. Because everybody leaves, believes that they're less than. And you're not less than. You've never been less than in your life. People say that you are, but people are wrong. People make mistakes all the time. You know that you've made mistakes in your life. And then you have to take that and you have to put it into the larger perspective that uh, into the world. So, semicolon, your story's not over yet, but also greater than sign. Greater than because you are greater than you believe you are. Okay? And if you could see yourself through my eyes, then you would realize that you're beautiful. Okay? You're a beautiful person inside and out. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Cherry. What Cherry say? <laughs> Wait, is it up here? <laughs> Seeing all the spanks and corsets. I wear, I have my fupa. Her fupa? Is that what we call it today, your fupa? She was on his head naked in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So she comes to the creepy con and she bent, she bent over, and I was like, be careful. A dump truck's about to unload. <laughs> she had that corset on, and it was like, I was like, she had that off the broad came off, and other stuff. You were like, I, what? Yeah, all I could think, all I think of was, was somebody sitting there, and they're, they've got like a zit, and they're just, eh, it's just about ready to, you know, you be careful when you're putting those corsets on, girl, because you know what? You strap them too tight, things will pop out. Oh, That's funny. You have the ability to do better once you forget how other people think you should be. Absolutely, freaking lutely Vance, 100%. <laughs> Vance, you're my second favorite person today as far as positivity goes. That is amazing. That is absolutely correct. You have the ability to do better once you forget how other people think you should be. I've said it before, and it all falls right into it. If you want to see somebody amazing, if you want to meet the most amazing person in the world, go stand in front of the mirror. Because after everything you've been through in life, you're still standing. You're still there. That takes courage. That takes strength. You guys are amazing. 100% for real. All right. So, good morning, Luke. Good morning, Belinda. If I missed you coming in, then I apologize. But that is absolute truth. So, you are used to your features. You don't know how beautiful you look to a stranger. Another thing, too, and I, I've said this before. Dog, quit biting your foot. What is wrong with you? No, no, like, like it's a bone. Um, so the other thing that I was going to say that goes with that is, um, you, you think that like, for example, somebody told me this, I, it was, I saw it as a meme or something. Maybe it was, and they didn't tell me I saw it, but it said, uh, oh, I'm so ugly. And the dude, the other dude was like, oh no, nah, bro, you're just not your type. Trust me. You're okay. And I started thinking about that and I was like, whoa, whoa. Like it hit me. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't find myself attractive because I'm not my type. I wouldn't date me. I don't. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that I like. Cause number one, I'm not gay. Number two, I just don't like people that look like me. But that's okay, because there are people out there that do think I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a, per, a beautiful, pretty, pretty princess. You know what I mean? So, same thing with everyone. Everyone in here. You were looking extra scary today. <laughs> I know, right? This, this is my human costume. I have a very convincing human costume. Need? Well, you got them this morning. You, may, I made it. I made a, a cake positive message. Hell yeah! Because that's what I've been saying. I need a. I need a positive message about cake. <laughs> the cake can have many wonderful layers and flavors. Is you a different one? That is really good, Mark. That's really good. You're such a good writer. That's awesome. I'm a sexy beast. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dustin. Thank you very much, Register. Harold, yeah. But yeah, so it's, that's the way it is, man. You know, people but people have us conditioned down to believe that we're ugly or that we're stupid or we're fat or we're this, that, and the other. And some of us, well, some of us are fat. I haven't lost a lot of weight, but some of us need to get on the treadmill. That's true. You know what I mean? And it's not because I'm being, I'm not body shaming, but I was, I was almost 300 pounds. I'm down to 190. I'm in my 190s now. I've lost almost 100 pounds and I feel better. I have more energy. I'm able to do more. I don't hurt as much. Like it's there's benefits to it. So I'm being good to myself. It's hit me with it past two days. Well, yeah, tears. First feed with y'all. Wait, in the first feed with y'all. Oh, Belinda. You know what? Sometimes we just have to we have to release those tears, man. I'm telling you right now, 
crying, when, when you have an emotional response that brings tears to your eyes, all that is is pain leaving your body. That's all it is. It's just, it's pain leaving it. And then once it's out of your body, let it go. Let, let it go because it's gone. You've done it. You know what I mean? Feel it. Enjoy that emotion. Don't enjoy that emotion. Whatever you got to do to get that emotion done. But once it's done, leave it on the curbside because you've, you've been through it. You know what I'm saying? Health is important. Indulge in life, but keep yourself in check. Absolutely. You, you, you know, and I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to body shame anybody. All right. I ate my way out of a horrible relationship, but I got to a certain point when I got up to almost 300 pounds, I was 298 pounds. I was depressed. I was lonely. I was sad. I was, I was eaten to, to fill that dark void in my, in my soul. And I looked in the mirror and I started hating myself and started, I couldn't do anything. And I was lazy and I was dumb. And I, I, dude, it, depression had me by the throat, by the throat. And I woke up one day and I'm not listening to this lady. So, um, I woke up one day, I looked in the mirror and I said, this is not me. Who the hell is this person standing on the other side of the mirror? Like, who is this person? I can't be this person. This is not the person I need to be for my daughter. This is not the person I need to be for myself. And I started making changes. I got up out of this chair and I started walking. I got a treadmill. I, I started going downtown, downtown New Orleans, and I started walking the French Quarter. Uh, I got out. I changed the way I eat. I made the changes because I had to, because I couldn't stand the person that I had become. And uh, I couldn't let depression hold me by the throat any longer. I refused. I'm stronger than that. You know? So yeah, if you guys ever, 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 ever need to talk to me, just come down and talk to me, whatever. Y'all want to come meet up? Come down. We'll go meet for coffee. We'll go sit by the beach. We'll talk, whatever. I'm telling you, I'm here. Okay. So let's get back to the thing here. Bad vibes do not go with my outfit. I like that. I got a pretty bang ass outfit today. I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt that I was wearing yesterday. I haven't even taken a shower yesterday. yet, guys. Yeah, I haven't taken it. I woke up. Look, I went, to, I got off work this morning. I laid down and took a nap. I got up and because Barbie brought me a damn pop tart, I made her breakfast. Okay. I made her eggs with fresh green pepper, uh, bell pepper, uh, onion and ham. And, and, and I fed her. I told you, like, I told y'all last time she come down here, she didn't bring me no food and I've ragged her about it ever since. Well, she walked, she come in and handed me a damn part tart to the time. So if you randomly pop up in my house or at the studio to visit me, and you bring me food, I will cook for you. Okay? I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got my Pop-Tarts right here. I ain't, it ain't going nowhere. I'm going to eat that shit later. I'm going to eat that later. I got my Pop-Tart, though. So, yeah, you pop up at my house, you can bring a Pop-Tart. I don't give a shit. You bring me some food. You bring me a damn Twinkie, and I'll, I'll come in, I'll feed you. I got you. You don't bring no food, I ain't letting you in the house or the studio. <laughs> I'm done with that. I did it once and it turned out bad. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It was it was horrible. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. You got twang. I got some twang. I live in New Orleans. I'm supposed to have some twang. Oh, pardon me. Do you have any gray poupon? Am I supposed to speak like this? My apologies. I'll try to keep my southern ass in check. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no to the no, no, no. <laughs> uh, never, ever, 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 ever give up, ladies and gentlemen, because I promise you there are people in this room, there are people that you know in life that love, respect, and want you here with us. We love you, and you are loved. Whether you can see that or not right now does not mean that you're not loved, just because you can't see it. You know what I'm saying? Depression is a mean B A S T R D. All right? Depression is mean. Depression is not nice. Depression is not your friend. And depression will have you believing that you're alone in this world and that no one loves you. And that's a lie. That is a lie. There's two things that I know is positive in this world. Okay? Number one, somebody somewhere is thinking about you every day. Someone somewhere. Is thinking about you every single day and two don't trust the milk in my fridge those are two things I know are fact you cannot trust the milk in my refrigerator but it's probably bad okay and you need some milk you need some milk uh.
Well, you should have had some milk. Who's Kendra? Oh, Kendra. Oh, wait, what? What, what am I missing? Did I miss something? Oh, you were talking to Kendra in here yesterday? I like Kendra. Why are you talking to people, Barbie? Nobody likes you. I'm just kidding. Everybody likes I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. See, I like, I'm just being silly. I'm being silly. You know, you know I don't feel that way. You got at least two friends. <laughs> if I didn't your pick one. <laughs> two what? Your dog and Kendra. My dog and Kendra. Yes, that's your two friends. That's it. I let you in because you brought food. I keep spitting it so fast without realizing it. I know. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm. I'm in. A, I've had so much coffee this morning. I'm on my, my second pot of coffee, so I'm like like bouncing off the walls. I'm in a very good mood today. Uh, I'm in a very very good mood today. All right. So we've done our positive thing this morning. It is 10:18. Uh, we have a few minutes left. Um. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the TikTok video yet, I did a TikTok video. I've done, of course, I've done lots of TikTok videos. It's Monster underscore Abaddon, which is down at the bottom down there. Go to my TikTok, check it out. One of the videos, uh, there was a couple of videos I want to talk about real quick. One of the videos is me talking to a young man. And I've seen some comments on there. People talking about, oh, he must have tried to steal something. The cops are there and stuff like that. No. And, and then the other one is me walking out with the cops. Oh, he must have got kicked out of the mall. No, the cops were there because they were security for the event. Um, if we have an event in a live place during the daytime when there's going to be a lot of people there, we have security for the events, for the live events, due to that there are a bunch of crazy people out there, and if they see a person walk up in a demon mask, they might start shooting or something. All right, so we have security for the events. So if you see any of my videos and you see cops or security officers or so on and so forth hanging around, they are security. They are there for the security of the event. The, little, the young man in question was an amazing young man. And in the video, I told him, I, I was talking to him about worth and how the universe um, made, you know, think of the most beautiful thing that you can think of in this world and put that in your brain for a second. Then I want you to realize that the universe made one of you too, because the universe was so awesome. It had to have one of you. So you have worth. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's what I was telling him in the video. But uh, I wanted to re remark about the comments made about he must have tried to steal something, whatever. Um, I'm not going to say they were race, racially motivated comments, but I think that there was a couple of them that were, and that's not the case. The young man in question was an amazing person, and I have a lot of respect for him. I also have a lot of respect for the for the police officers that uh, were there doing security that day. They, one of them was absolutely hilarious. We did the uh, one video, we're walking out, and I started singing Bad Boys. Shit was hilarious. We had a great time. So just to clear that up, check out the, the, the TikTok videos. I, I think you'll like them. Uh, we're learning some new transitions. We're, we're working on some stuff to make even better videos now. Um, and it's gonna, we're, just, we're just getting started. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so we said that. Then what was the other thing that I needed to address? Uh, Spencer's Gifts, we addressed that. Uh, Spencer's Gifts has really dropped the ball on the worldwide release and all that shit of, of the shirts, of the United States wide release of the shirts and everything. And some of the shirts, some of the stores do not have the Cult of Pool shirts. I've been saying if you're going to go to Cult of Pool, or if you're going to go to Spencer's Gifts to get a an Abaddon shirt or Stitches or Relic or whatever shirt from Cult of Fools, um, call the store first to make sure they have them. And even then, I'm, it's a good chance that they may not know what you're even talking about. All right. So if you happen to be at the mall, check it out, see it. Call them first, so on and so forth. But you are guaranteed to get the shirt that you want in the size that you want if you go to cultoffools.com, which is up there. I keep forgetting where I put it. It's up there. So go to cultoffools.com. That'll transfer you over to Big Chris Arts, and you can order the shirt. They will come perfectly, perfectly the size you want straight to your house. It is awesome. <laughs> so Tikataka, we talked about Tikataka. We talked about Spencer's. Oh, uh, yeah, Spencer's has really dropped the ball, dude. I'm, I'm like... Just with them. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, Big Chris Arts. Go to Cult of Fools and Big Chris Arts on Facebook and Instagram. Follow them. See all the new stuff that's coming out. They just released a Twisted's picture. That's pretty cool. If y'all don't know who Twisted is, he's a rapper who's one of the world's fastest rappers. And uh, all kinds of videos on uh, 
YouTube and 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 in the world MTV all that good shit. He's a, he's a probably really awesome dude. Um, I don't listen to rap per se, but I have checked out some of his videos and it's pretty neat. I, I wish I wish I could talk that fast. Yours out the none. Yeah, that's a managerial problem. Spencer's that's a managerial problem. They're supposed to have a United States wide uh, standard. They put loadouts and everything to where every store should be the same. So when you walk in a store in one year, in one one area and you go 10 miles to, or 10, 10 states over and go to another store, they should be the exact same loadout so you know where everything is at. And the managers have really dropped the ball. So uh, let's see. So Spencer's, TikTok, Instagram. My Instagram needs some love. Just go follow my Instagram. Share things out, guys. If y'all really can, please, I'd appreciate it. And uh, mass share the Abaddon Apollyon page out on Facebook. Let's get as many people in here as we can to try to get this message across that you guys are amazing. And, and you know, you know that someone in your life needs to hear this. So you don't have to necessarily, I mean, I'd like it if you invite them in here and, and to our live feeds and stuff like that, but you don't have to necessarily have me say it. You guys are responsible for yourselves too. You call your friends, pick up your phone this morning, look at your friend, look through your contact list and see who you haven't talked to lately that you love. If you love a person and you haven't talked to them lately, it could be a cousin, it could be a friend, it could be your grandma, I don't care who it is. Look at your phone and find somebody that you love that you haven't talked to a while and reach out and say, Hey, I was just thinking about you and I hope everything is okay. All right. A phone call can go a very long way. If you know a veteran, if you have a veteran that lives near you or is in your family or anything like that, it could be a neighbor. All right. And check on them, you know, say, Hey, how are you doing today? Need anything? You know what I mean? What's going on? You got it. Uh, that's the way I've, I've actually put your name up in the, in the hat. So you're in the hat. We're going to see what happens from there. That's the best I can do, but I've put a lot of people in the hat lately. So, and they say that they're going to be adding people. So we're going to find out what happens next. It's all on Chris and Q. So the right perspective makes the impossible possible. And that is the truth. All right. So each and every one of you can reach out to someone and just saying hi can make the impossible possible. You can make somebody who feels really miserable, happy. Okay. So I'll leave that on you guys to do today. I went to one before him and I got together and I loved it. One day I will convince him. I have no idea. I must have missed another comment. It happens. It, it happens. I miss comments. All right. So some things that are coming up soon. Let's get this out while we're, while we're out there. We've got the contest coming up next year where I'm going to be giving a vacation away to New Orleans for the weekend. I'll be paying for airfare and hotel room. You'll be, you'll have to pay the, uh, food and drinks for yourself uh, but I'll be paying for airfare and hotel room for the weekend that'll be coming up next year uh, we've done that contest to the top supporter to be a top supporter you have to go to abadonapolyon.com click on that patreon become a patreon subscriber five dollars a month gets you in the door to be top supporter all right so y'all can all jump on the bandwagon a little early and uh, before we even start the contest, that does that does count to your to your credit towards being a top supporter. We're also going to be doing another contest next year that is going to be where I'm going to take my my top supporter for the first quarter, first half year, whatever, however long I do the contest for, we'll get the vacation. And the second contest, that top supporter, whoever that is, will get a vacation to a conference with I'm hoping, and I'm working on this, I haven't got all the details yet, but I'm trying to get all of the Cult of Fools member together at a convention at once with Q and Chris. So I'm not sure, but the contest will be that they will get airfare and hotel to a conference that we will be at, that I will be at, and hopefully some others. Uh, that will be the second contest. They'll get airfare and hotel to a conference. First one, airfare and hotel to New Orleans for the weekend. The next one will be airfare and hotel to a conference. I may even go ahead and pay for the ticket too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that part, but I may even pay for the conference ticket too. Um, I think I'd said that the other day, so we're probably going to go with that. But you'll be, you'll, but you'll be, you'll have to pay for your food and drink. All right. So and and getting to and from the airport. I'm not going to pay for that. You know what I mean? You gotta, you got to get your ass to the airport. I'll pay for the airline ticket, but I'm not going to pay for your taxi ride. But anyway, so there's two contests next year. Top supporter to become a top supporter. Oh, I am coming to Mad Monster, Belinda. I will be at Mad Monster, North Carolina. I already have my ticket. 
Um, everything is set for me, Mad Monster North Carolina, and I will be going to Mad Monster Arizona again next year as well. So that's uh, Mad Monster North Carolina will be in February. Mad Monster Arizona will be in, I think, June, and I will be at both of those. Um, I've already talked with the uh, coordinators and the uh, and a couple other people, and I will be there. So that is going to happen. Um, but yeah, the contest is contest is <laughs> can't speak. Yeah, go to abadonapolyon.com. It's on the top up there. Click on the become a Patreon. Uh, become a Patreon. Five dollars a month gets you a head start into those two contests for next year. And if you don't win the first one, there's a good chance you might win the second one. And we're going to have other contests, too. We'll have some shirt giveaways. We'll have some stuff. I really like doing big contests. I don't like doing little contests. If I'm going to do a, if I'm gonna do a contest, I want, like, you know, vacation or something. You know, maybe even 2021, I might give a car away or something. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? it will be like a crap car. I'll probably like buy a 1982 Chevette or something. But still, it's a car. <laughs> Whatever. It, it might be funny. I'll put like Porsche emblems on it or something. Yeah, I used to have one too. Yeah, yeah. Either that or a Pinto. We'll give him a Pinto. Um, yeah. No, we're going to do something. Just some gas money. Uh, we'll get you there, Popcorn. Popcorn, I plan on, I'm, I, pl- I, I definitely plan on making a convention where you're going to be at next year as well so we can hang out. And um, I've also got the cabin in the woods. So me, Biggs, and a few other people are going to be getting together next year. A few other entertainers. Uh, we're going to get with some entertainers. Or we're going to be getting a cabin in the mountains for a week uh, this year coming up. Or I mean, or no, not this year coming up. Coming up soon, actually, right? We're going to do it hopefully before the next year. Is it next year? So, it, it, yeah, February, March, something like that. I don't know. What, probably when I go to Mad Monster, I'm probably gonna like go straight from Mad Monster over to the cabin, or go to the cabin straight to Mad Monster, or something like that. We'll probably do it around that time, probably February or something. I'm not sure. But we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing a uh, a week in the woods, cabin in the woods thing, where we'll be doing some live feeds and, and chilling out and relaxing and just just being humans uh, and supporting each other and working on ideas for better live feeds and. TikTok transitions and, and, and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're just going to chill out by the fireplace and drink coffee and talk. So that's going to be fun. But if you guys want to be entered in that contest for the vacations, uh, for the two contests, two vacations next year, <laughs> you can get a you can get a start on that by becoming a Patreon subscriber at abadonapolyon.com. Follow my go to my Patreon. Five dollars a month. Five dollars. It's a pack of cigarettes a month. You know damn well that if I came up to you and said, "Hey man, can I borrow five dollars?" Or can I have? I wouldn't borrow. I ain't asking to borrow shit. If I can give me, let me have five dollars. Let me hold five. Let me let me hold a five, or you give it to me. What I miss? What I miss? What do you say? What I miss? Clown spooning? Absolutely. No, we're gonna be clown forking, fork forking, clown knifing, clown. What's that? That what's that pie cutter called? Isn't there a name for like the pie cutter? You know what I'm talking about? The, the one that's the triangle with the... Uh, yeah. What's that one called? Trial? 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 <laughs> trial? Is that correct? I think that's the word. We're going to be clown troweling. Garden with a trowel. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm the prettiest. Rawr, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm a duck. Rawr, I'm a duck. Keep thinking positive, people. You know you can do it. You know what we got going on. Um, the popcorn for a week and a banana hammock. Y'all can't handle it. That would be a, yeah. I, I could handle it. I got I got my two piece. That that definitely after after somebody throws beads at me, it will become a one piece. I'm from New Orleans. You throw beads at me, my top comes off. I can't help it. It's 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 ingrained in my head. Huh? What? Huh? What did you say? If you throw two beads, my bottoms come off. <laughs> He's so stupid. Trowel, that's the word. Trowel. Thank you, Poppy. Thank you. Hey, Poppy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We are soaking in awesome sauce over here this morning. I'm just saying it. It's all coffee. It's all coffee. All coffee. That's right. All right, so we talked about, let's see, we talked about TikTok. We talked about the, the security. We talked about Instagram. We talked about the contest. What else am I going to talk about? You don't know? What did I miss this time? 
Uh huh. Just wait. It's just me. It's just you. Barbie's lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Her face is red. She has turned into the giggling monster <laughs> of the show. She has lost it. She needs some milk. We got to get her some milk. No. And, and and like I said before, you do two things. You can never trust the milk in my fridge. No. But I'll pour her a cup. I don't care. You did already. I did. I did. I did pour her a cup of milk. That's true. I did, didn't I? They gave her some milk. She needs some milk. There. All right, so I think we talked about it. He goes, that's right, call me daddy. Well, Bobby said, hey, Poppy. That's right, call me daddy. All right, daddy, I need to borrow the car. <laughs> uh, hey, just throwing it out there. Keep it on Facebook and Instagram. Death Bone will be doing some cool things with his demon brother. Abinant. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're, I'm planning on, I, I saw your video the other day. I was telling you earlier, and uh, I freaking loved it, dude. And I plan on doing some stuff with you. I just got to wait till I'm in face. Uh, just not from my fridge. <laughs> no joke. Good morning, Tim. Show us the moobs. <laughs> you can't handle the moobs. You can't handle my chunky goodness. I'm just saying. Way too much man. Way too much man over here in this in this moob shirt. Don't you spit that coffee out? That's a sin. You spit that coffee out. You're you're grounded. I'm just saying. I'll send you back home without your pop tarts. All right, so what's up, Cotton T Clown? How are you, sir? Good to see you, or, sir. I think it's sir. It's Cotton, or sir, or girl. That's that's one of those names that after I said sir, I, I immediately regretted it because I haven't. I I don't know. I I I do follow. Him. It's a sir. Oh wow, that looks good, Cotton. I like your I like your mask. Oh, I like your outfit too. How have I not How have I not talked to Cotton yet? Or have I talked to you? Have I talked to you, Cotton? That looks good. I like it. Yeah. What's goal? What's goal? Oh, yeah. It kind of looks like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was looking at the coloring. I wasn't looking at, like, the overall thing. I was, like... I was, ducking, I was digging at colors. That's cool as shit, dude. Cotton tea Clown. I am following you, sir. Clown Town. Hell yeah, that look good. All right, guys, go follow Cotton T Clown for damn sure. Click on that name. Go ahead, follow. Go ahead, like. Red Horse Haunted Woods, but I've got to read this. Uh, I've had a passion for scary folks. I remember Halloween is my favorite. Interesting in the book and the DM. I'm not a haunted house. Yeah, I like that. I'm not a haunted house. I'm just a haunted actor. Um, yeah. Shit, yeah, dude. That's awesome. I love the coloring, man. All right. So, anyway, go follow him. Oh, Lord. Look at that. Moto. <laughs> moto, moto. I love moto. Moto, moto's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Welsh kick into the moto. Get it, get it, get it. Go. Moto's in the house. Look who I got, moto. Look who, look who came and popped up my house again showed up but she did wait she brought me pop tarts yeah, she, got she she brought she brought me pop tarts so i let her in I told her this time you show up at my door without food i ain't letting you in but she showed up with food so i let her in titties moto says titties titties we love the boobs have people ask me if if i was open at what time oh if you're open at what time <laughs> that's yeah, that's funny yeah they do that yeah i've had the same i never i never put that together but yeah i've had the same thing that's a barb moto how was it dude did y'all have a good season i really hope you did man i hope y'all had a blast ass season down there dude for real um and i i was i was this close to j florida probably what uh right a few weeks ago it was a few weeks ago. I was this close to, to Jay Florida. And I had, I said, if I get off set, if I, because we were doing a, a film shoot right down the road. And I was like, if I get off set in time, I'm so running over there. And then they, they kept us till like freaking two o'clock in the morning. And I was like, son of a biscuit eater. So when I got off, I just drove into the house. I thought about getting a hotel room and coming up there, man, for real. Moto's awesome. They're still dead? Oh, I bet so, dude. There is no stopping you during uh, haunt season. We know that for a fact. Moto is 
is no shit when it comes to the haunted industry. What? He's a trip. He's a trip? Yeah. I like Moto. Abby's cheeks are always open for business. Business. For business. <laughs> business. He didn't say which cheeks. He didn't say which cheeks. That's right. You could. I like poop. I'm just saying. I like pooping. You know, I'm a clown. We, we poop a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Lori's up in the house. Good morning, Lori. So, yeah. So, we talked about the vacation. We talked about the TikToks. We talked about the Spencers. We talked about Instagram. We talked to positive this morning. I think we pretty much hit all of the angles, didn't we? But the only thing left would just be to talk to you guys for a minute. Deathbone says he likes tater tots. Who doesn't? So I heard somebody say one day that was like, "I'm a, I'm a potato. I'm, a, uh, look at me, I'm a potato." And I was like, "Dude, listen, French fries are made out of potatoes, and everybody loves French fries. So, you know what I'm saying? You got this. You know what I mean? You got this." Look at all the messages I have popping up. Holy jeez. Good morning messages. Everybody with your positive quotes this morning, thank you so much. And I will be looking at those and I will be writing them down so we can talk about them throughout the week. Absolutely. Jason, the uh, the Cabin in the Woods week is coming up soon for us. Uh, I, I think what, February or something. We're going to try to do it in February or something. I don't remember where we're going to do it. We're going to try to do it soon. And then we've got the... Uh, let's see, we got Haunt Con. we got got uh, Mad Monster... Uh, there's Horror Hound. I'm trying to get the get Horror Hound uh, set up. Texas Frightmare. Try to get that set up. There's all kinds of stuff going on. We get, we just got a busy year next year. Can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Good morning, Renee. So, lots and lots of fern. I hope everybody is gets well rested after this haunt season because I know that a bunch of y'all put your heart into it every year and that y'all work your butts off. And I really hope you get some rest and well deserved rest and love. And everything and get ready for next year and i rocked october why well, thank you vance thank you very much uh i did a lot of lives i did a lot of lives in october um i was out the door like almost every single day it was it was fun had a lot of fun we gonna have a lot a lot of fun Teaching the kids to call French fries chips just to mess with people here in the U.S. I know, right? <laughs> That's what we call them, chips. That's what I call them when I lived overseas. All right, guys. Well, look, I think that's about it. I don't have anything, have anything else. Already did. I, yeah, I got that way while ago. Yeah, Jeffy is the positive person of the day. Jeffy's quote was amazing. All right, let's see. Shameless plugs. It's shameless plugs time. Abadonapolyon.com. Uh, the contest next year to become a to, to be qualified for the vacation the free vacation to New Orleans for the weekend airfare and hotel you're you're responsible for your food and drink uh, to get the first part of that qualification to become a Patreon subscriber you can do that at the abaddonapolyon.com page TikTok Instagram and Twitter at monster Abaddon which is down there okay monster underscore Abaddon TikTok Twitter and Instagram Go follow those and share out the stuff. If you enjoy what you see, please share it out so we can get more people in here. The uh, the thing that I have for y'all today that I talked after doing the positive message was that I want you to go through your phone once we get done with this live feed. Go through your phone and look for someone you haven't talked to in a while, someone that you haven't spoken to in a while that you love, and call them. Even if they don't answer, leave them a message. Shoot them a text message. Say something. Well, hey, I was just thinking about you today. I hope you're doing well. Be positive. Spread that positive message. Don't let anyone that you love feel alone. That's that's your homework for today. All right. Uh, that's it. Yeah. All right. So let me get my, my buttons ready to do the whole little little peace out thingy and get out of here. Let's see. Um, I am like... Okay, I'm not there yet. There it is. I'm like the fat kid in dodgeball. I'm out. <laughs> love, peace, and chicken grease, fools. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Much love and respect to everyone. And uh, we will chat with you soon. If you need anything, just message me uh, on the Todd Cook page. All right. Love, peace, and chicken grease, guys. Bye.